I'm June from Singapore. Hi, I'm Mariam. Hi, I'm Jean. I'm Queen. Hi, I'm Pamela. Okay, so let's go to our first question. The purpose to joining this courses is to enrich the professional knowledge of special education, which is essential to my current position. There were still a lot of things that I needed to learn. There were still a lot of students, you know, that um, were still unresponsive to, to some of the techniques I learned in the diploma course. So I felt that um, I really still needed to upgrade my skills. I found myself um, not being able to um, help even better when my students are stuck. It makes me want to learn more, uh, like better and more effective ways to help them. That's why I chose to take this course. So I think the most rewarding part is that I met a lot of new friends in DAS Acad Academy, especially some uh, many professionals, uh, many lecturers, many interesting friends from all over the world. Um, other than that, I have a comprehensive understanding of how we can support students with special needs through uh, with uh, professional theories and applied the theories to our daily practice. Um, for me, the most rewarding part of this learning journey is when I uh, go back to my workplace and I'm able to apply the techniques and the knowledge that I've gained through, through the lessons in, in DAS Academy. And um, the bonus will be when I get to see the students actually um, improving because I've implemented all the things that I've learned. Um, I was able to, to learn, you know, um, techniques and strategies and concepts that was usable. It's not just um, knowledge that you memorize or retain and then you can't um, apply it. So I was able to learn a lot of applicable knowledge that I was able to um, use to help students who have normally been um, given up on by previous teachers already. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's the most rewarding part that you're able to, to affect some change. The first one is how to make balance between uh, among work life studies because I'm a full time staff in the higher education. Also, I'm a working mom, need to take care of two kids. Uh, you want to meet the standards of your employer, right? But at the same time, you also want to meet the standards of the school. So um, there are times when you know you have to motivate yourself, and there are times when you procrastinate on, on doing something. <laughs> there are just some days, you know, that um, you um, there's a difficult choice between um, what should I work on first or what should I work on next. Uh, luckily, my family and my line managers give me great support to my study so that I can set up block times to fly over to Singapore to take this study. And also, I uh, did my research and uh, did my assignments after my kids sleep. <laughs> I'm not a working mom yet, so the main challenge for me is actually time management. What I do is I have to cut down a lot on my social social activities and also maybe sometimes sleep. So that's the first one challenge, and the second one is how to do the research and find the right references. Uh, take me quite a while to get back to the routine of studies and uh, how to do research and uh, how to write 2000 words essay. Again, luckily I got great support from the lecturers, from the colleagues from DS Academy Whenever I have questions, I have inquiries, I can reach them through either emails or Skype or any ways so they can get me timely help. 
you have to you're basically targeting a different set of readers those are your professors and people in the academia so you have to change your way of thinking you have to change your way of writing and um, sometimes you know at the back of your head there's always um, you're worried about you know unintentional plagiarism you forgot the reference also it's very academic writing is 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 really more structured so you really have to learn how to do a good outline you know and and i think you're forced to be more organized so i think that that's really the challenge because um after so many years of getting used to informal writing you're suddenly forced to work in a very structured environment so that's a totally different mindset and um i think it it can't happen overnight so it takes time also yeah I am more of like a hands-on person, so like researching and writing is is more difficult for me. So it um it's one of the challenges. But I'm really grateful that um I have lecturers who are willing to to help, especially for my first module. Actually, I stopped studying for a few years. So when I returned for the masters, I actually got a shock. But <laughs> thanks to um, June um Sylvia. Yeah, for helping me through that module, and then because of that, I gained more confidence to continue. Right. For international students, it's much more convenient for the online mode because it's uh, it saves much of my time and energy and the cost. I don't have to fly over to Singapore, so uh, I only have to. Uh, study online at home, so that's the most advantage is comparing to the face to face. Of course, I get to save a lot of time and effort, and also actually money because um traveling in and then even living there for a week. That's also living expenses. It helps you save on the expenses. Yeah, the accommodation mm. and you know uh, accommodation and the plane tickets, everything. So, mm. um. In the end, um, I think if you're able to to save on that, you'll be able to take more courses at wow. that. I think, yeah, <laughs> because instead of I, I, um, instead of spending, you know, double double the amount yeah. um, for yeah. your accommodation and travel, you can actually use that, you know, your finance to to to, to take additional courses. Yeah, so right. that that's also one of the benefits. Yeah. Um, on online, I can also um, stay at home to to just learn and at the comforts of my home to learn. Um, I, I'm actually very grateful for the online mode right now because um, I, I, if there was no online mode, I, I think I would have had to pull out of the course because um, uh, I mean, in different countries, they have different travel bans and different um, requirements for going out. So definitely, I wouldn't have been able to to travel so i'm thankful for for uh, the opportunity to you know to study online and um everything i think um the online mode of that is um i think it's very smooth <laughs> i didn't have a lot of problems um except for i think the problem is in my wi-fi but everything um the the group work you know and um the lectures the availability of the learning material so th that wasn't an issue everything was quite smooth mm. Face-to-face -face is necessary because I could have the opportunity to have a discussion, a deeply discussion with my classmates and with the lecturers. You also get to talk with other educators in, in various fields. So, yes. so usually the opportunity is there after the class. If you go out for lunch or after the class, you discuss you know, um, educational trends or, or issues with your, your classmates. That one, uh, you won't be able to really do it when you're doing yeah. online. Learning with uh, classmates, classmates around and also lecturers that um, it feels like I'm more in the situation. Um, I am be, I'm more able to engage myself when I do face-to-face -face learning. Before I went for the, that module, I was actually contemplating whether I should do the online the online um, method because there are a lot of techniques and also practices that we get to do. So I was thinking, okay, I, I should 
go down and and then this thing happened <laughs> um i had to stay in singapore for two months but after that i realized i i've learned much more other things through this adventure yeah okay, so okay. well i think it's um it's worth it <laughs> okay that's yeah. nice I think yeah, I like the format of the program, and uh, especially uh, each of the courses are blocked into the into one week, which can uh, make me study uh, continuously. And uh, uh, especially for the first two models, I need to fly over to Singapore. Uh, if there's no online mode then uh, it is much more convenient to make it within one week. Mm. Yes. If you're an overseas student, you can't afford to fly in and out, you know, every two weeks just to finish mm -hmm. the course. So in terms of like uh, finances, the, the block format is really the most advantageous. Also, yeah, I got great support with my line manager. So when I fly over Singapore, I don't have to take for leave. <laughs> so it is my training. So wow. I think, okay. yeah, it is Great. very comfortable. Yeah. yeah. And also for, for your students also, if you have students that you have to leave behind because you're taking studies, um, I think uh, one or two weeks uh, leave would be uh, less jarring for them than, you know, you're, you're absent every two or three days. For the first module, I actually did the, the every Wednesday evening. During that time, I had to travel in because there are no online online courses yeah, yeah. so um comparing the two i i think that the format now it's much better i can just take a week of leave to just come in and just focus on learning um for that whole week without needing to worry about the other things and also yeah. because it's during school holidays so I think uh, it's also better for me because I also need to go to schools to teach. So yeah, so I think it's easier to fit into my schedule. Yeah. Uh, the main selling point at DAS Academy was that it offered a lot of courses in block format. Mm -hmm. I had to eliminate other options because they, they were stretching it out for like once a week, twice a week classes. Mm -hmm. So that was one of my drawing, uh, drawing points, which is why I, I tried... Um, the very first course in DAS in 2017. Well, so I'm really happy with the block format. So I was telling myself at that point, you know, even if I had to complete the diploma in three years or the master's in three years, it is still doable and it's still a better option than moving there in Singapore and staying for a year, not having yeah. any work. Yeah, I've experienced taking a diploma course in Singapore where I was, I had to stay there for a year and uh, it's really, wow. it's really very, it's stressful. It's stressful. Um, it's stressful yes. not only for me but for my family also. And yes. um, if you're if you're staying there for a year, you you initially think you've planned out all of the costs, and then suddenly when you're in Singapore, you know things happen, and the costs start to pile up and up and up. And <laughs> at the end, you just can't wait to go home. <laughs> Three, three things I uh, come up to my mind. The first one is that I meet lots of uh, great professional educators in DAS Academy, not only from DAS Academy, because you also invite uh, visitor lecturers and uh, practitioners or uh, psychologists, counselors from different areas, which give us um, bigger pictures of what all kinds of practitioners do their support or services to students with special needs. And the second one is the, I like all the lectures uh, in DAS Academy because you uh, give me a feel that I will get support anytime, any places. So I don't feel alone study struggling for my courses so if i have problems or i meet challenges i can reach you anytime and uh, through all kinds of ways okay. and the, the last one is the flexible of the courses because i you know that i took the ma courses there are six modules when i uh, doing the modules my mind will change 
So when I did the first two courses, I think, okay, that's enough for me. I just want to improve my profession to this level. That's enough. And I don't have more time. But when I did more, I feel that, oh, I think I need to do more. And I think I can do it. I will manage it. So, so that's, it. that's why I now completed four modules. <laughs> And again, uh, um, before I think that's enough for me, <laughs> but now my mind changed again. So I'm thinking okay. of completed the total six module and got get the master degree. Although I already got another master degree, but I think uh, I'm keen to finish the total module and get this master degree uh, because the flexibility of the courses because um, I don't have to rush to finish within the limited time. Even I come back a few years later, you are also open to me. So uh, it, feel, it makes me feel relaxed and uh, I can come back when I uh, get ready. So that's the things I like for the DAS Academy. I did the um, SPAC deep first. It's close to four years, my fourth year in DAS Academy. The reason I stay so long is because I really like <laughs> I really like DAS Academy. First of all, is like what Jean said, um, the lecturers are all very helpful, kind, and also very resourceful. Um, when I have questions and I send email. I do not need to wait for like a whole week or maybe two weeks just to get a reply. The place that we study is also very conducive and uh, actually all the admin staff there are also very helpful. With DAS Academy, with the diverse selections of lectures, you know, um, you really learn a lot of practical um, uh, practical uh, things that you can use in the classroom, but at the same time, they teach you theoretical concepts that you know make you wonder about the why and make you want to learn more. So, and I've had experiences with um, different types of lectures. I feel that at DAS Academy, the, the lectures there have a good balance of like theoretical and practical knowledge. So they know they know what they're talking about. And when you ask a question, because um you know with with sir if if you've uh, if you've gone through so many professors and lectures, sometimes you know if um if they are not uh, if they come into class they're not prepared. But with um, DAS Academy, I've never had that experience where a lecturer would come in and be very unprepared. DAS Academy lecturers really change my whole mindset of uh, lecturers. Like. Um, very dedicated and also very helpful and and very professional and also um, very knowledgeable and because like um, the lecturers uh, they also um, teach as well so they have a lot of um, practical experiences to share with us and that's one thing that I really like about uh, the taking the course here in the AS Academy because the the end goal of learning actually is to be able to help students and that's the practical the practical side of the things with the the our learning and um it's not only like uh you know um journal articles and writing and um the lectures are also very friendly so um, as i mentioned um <laughs> when i wrote to miss mariam um my first course there i think miss june and miss um <laughs> miss Pris gave me those um, Kaya jams. So I think that was uh, my bribe actually to keep on coming back. <laughs> um, when I first, yeah, when I got there, yeah, they, they, they gifted me with Kaya jam because I think I was one of the, I think I was the only overseas student there at that time, I think. Yeah, so yeah, and that was how many years ago? 2017. 2017. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and um, it's a good feeling to keep on going back to a school where you see you, the, the lectures there for a few years because if the lectures keep on changing, um, sometimes it's, it becomes impersonal. So um, if, you ha if you see the lecture that has been there for a long time, you're more comfortable, I think, on, on going back to the school. and. Uh, you're more confident that uh, you may be able to finish your study because you know there's a uh, strong foundational support already in place. Yeah, yeah I do get some uh, candy from from who? Priscilla, maybe because okay. I got sore throat. 
Oh, and okay. one called and a cup during the class. Wow. So he is the <laughs> candies, which is wow. eat up very much. <laughs> so there are okay, so much candy in the supermarket in Singapore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Okay, the next time all of you come again, we're going to give you <laughs> I actually aspire to be like, like um, the lecturers there as well. Because um, like in my place, Kuluang, we, we don't really have anyone who, um, who is able to help dyslexic children. And I can see like many children struggling and parents actually even crying in front of me just because they don't know where, what, what to, how to help them and um, so I aspire to actually maybe start a centre one day and actually the DAS is also like um, like a model for me like I aspire to work towards becoming like um, hoping that my um, centre will be like that in the future yeah <laughs>